Peggy 16. some weird behavior we spotted last night at Phys X where things just decided to take five times longer than normal for no apparent reason. Okay, so that'll be fine. I'm Rob Elam, one of the many programming grunts around here. I work on uh, physics engine implementation, some character work, some animation system work, and weapon systems. Uh, and this is a guy I work with a lot, Julio. Uh, I am Julio Jerez, and I am the uh, low-level physics programmer and the liaison between NVIDIA and Sony. There are some cases where we can do some optimization. In the past, every time we find some problems, physics work with us to fix the library and we get got a new patch. But now they move to a new version, so we are on our own looking at the library. Uh, a lot of what we do is trying to uh, wrangle the systems to work better with uh, PhysX. Uh, there's some things that PhysX does that uh, our current art does not like all that much, like the many shapes that we have, the high detail artwork we have. Uh, so a lot of Julio's work has actually been trying to improve the way we interact with it and the way that those systems in PhysX actually work. This is the tool that we use to profile the game, every process we find the physics process. Uh, you can see that the process is taking, compared to, in parallel, compared to other, other systems, it's taking eight milliseconds. But that's an amount of time that if we can reduce this, then this other system can use that amount of time. Well, a lot of my other optimizations are based on trying to scale down what we do with physics based on how much CPU power we have. The profile between a dual core and a quad core is quite different in terms of how you approach optimization. So a lot of our work is kind of figuring out what we can effectively not do on those systems and how we can try to not do that, have it adapt to those lower end systems without punishing people with high end systems. So as much adaptive scaling as we can achieve uh, within reason. What are you doing, dude? Um, I see some code in there. Let me That's see what's going on right. here. Oh, dude, you I'm missed writing, the line. I'm writing a book. It's just a really boring book. Yeah, this allows us to see uh, exactly what's happening in the physics threads. Uh, so different processes that uh, physics runs, which helps us to determine do we have problems with the number of objects in the scene or do we have problems with the objects actually hitting each other or the uh, density of the shapes inside of those objects. All of these efforts need to be very, very explicitly pre-tested with a good uh, before and then obviously the, the similar after. And I'd like to start doing that more aggressively across uh, the various hardware that we have. So this is it. That's where all the magic happens. All sorts of network equipment. We got video cards, sound cards, all different OS's. Pretty amazing. So what are you testing here? This is NVIDIA's PhysX uh, Visual Debugger. Uh, what this does is allows us to hook the game to this debugger and record what's happening in the game, what's happening in physics land. Um, this actually shows you all of the collision objects that we have in a scene. And if you can see it, there's a little green thing there. That's one of the vehicles in the scene. I'm testing my machine now. Um, then today, see if I can go and run it on the test machine on the test room over there. But ah. Uh, if this works, this it could be a very big impact on the physics update.
Sony.